Hello, I'm Rory from RateMyFuneral.com. That was Rate, by the way. Welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to play around with cars. I'm a, a bit of a lover of uh, cars and, and that sort of thing. And uh, yes, yes, I like cars and driving and driving cars. It's fun, yes. Although uh, somewhat sport these days with the amount of traffic on the roads, but let's not get into that. Right, so first thing, really important news, I got a new chair. Look at that, I've left the uh, the old uh, resistant to cigarettes and matches sticker on there for you. I lost you there. Um, I left that on because I thought, I don't know, it looks cool. Basically, the cat hasn't destroyed this one yet. Um, hopefully he won't, but if he does, uh, we can always break his legs, something like that, I don't know. Um, so, let's begin somewhere, rather than talking and nobbing around all day. Um, this dude here came about because uh, somebody said to me, is Infidio any good for automotive lighting? And that sort of thing. And I thought, Do you know what? Never really actually properly tried it. So I um, rigged up a model. Uh, I didn't model this myself, um, but I got the model in there. I textured it and lit it with the completely default settings. And that's how it came out. Really, really happy. I mean, obviously I've done a bit of uh, Photoshop processing um, a little bit of lens flare and colouring to make it look really smart, but that's how it came out, so I'm really chuffed with that. And then sitting on the train, um, a little bit uh, bored, um, I got, got my laptop out and I animated the car to essentially do this. So just while sitting in the, on the train, I, I animated that. Um, and what all that's happening here is the car is sliding on, boom, like so. Um, and there's a little bit of a tilt. There you go, just to sort of show that it really has suspension and it stops. But that's all keyframed animation. There's nothing uh, particularly clever going on there. But um, so I put that together and then uh, thought, well, I might as well show you kind of what to do and how I did it and that sort of thing. Um, only we're going to do it today. We're going to do it with this. So uh, I'm going to show you where you can get hold of this model and uh, we'll do it there. So that's enough rambling because that's far too much rambling. So let's begin now. Um, get rid of that. Do, 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 do. Where are we beginning? Where are we beginning? Um, right, first of all, you need to, oh, look at that. That's uh, ratemyfuneral.com. That's a really cool website. Um, basically, on Google, I typed in free Cinema 4D car models. Straightforward enough. And there's obviously tons around. Um, other models are available and all that sort of malarkey, but um, essentially uh, the one I found was this one here. It said 35 absolutely free car models. Brilliant. So I went to that and it takes you to this site and there's a, ton, there's a ton of different cool models and cars and stuff on here. But the one that caught my eye was this dude here because it's a native Cinema 4D format, so it'll be nice and easy for us to play with. Um, and it's a pretty nifty looking car so I went to that one and this is made by um, Edson it's uh, obviously somebody that only has one name now that's really cool in this day and age um, and uh, yeah so this is their model so I downloaded that and that's what we're gonna do so grab hold of it there's a download button there you can grab that um, then once you've extracted it go to your folder that it's extracted to uh, and you've got the Cinema 4D file there, you've got a textures folder which has got some really useful uh, 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 folders, uh, folders, yes, magical folders that look like images. They're the ones, images, right, in there and there's some renders that, uh, that he's done, um, oops, which you can see here, uh, are some pretty, that's a sort of after uh, processing and that's before and same there, and yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. It looks good. Marvellous, marvellous. So, that's uh, all good. So let's let's get this into uh, cinema and, and begin. Right, this is the first problem we're going to have. Oh, uh, I'll mention this now as well. I'm using R15. Um, most of everything that I'm going to do here is really backwards compatible. Um, I'm probably going to use the physical, well, I am going to use the physical renderer, which um, is obviously uh, R13, but uh, most of it will be right. But you're going to get this if you do not have a V-Ray plugin and whatnot, because this model has been uh, done using V-Ray. Please excuse me while I drink. 
that's better. Um, now, I don't have V-Ray, and when, I'm not going to be using V-Ray today, so I need to resolve this issue. Um, and this is what you, you will kind of end up with, and if you hit uh, render on that, you're going to get a load of stuff. Now, I'm not worried about that, because I'm just going to retexture it myself, and that's what we're going to do today for a little bit of fun anyway. So, um, I am literally going to... Um, have a look at this, right? So let's start. Um, no, let's uh, let's just literally. I'm just going to delete all of these. So I'm highlighted them all and deleted them. And there you go. We now have our car there. Um, so that's fine. You can see it there, um, and it's in this folder here. So before we go too much further, I'm just going to save this as a copy. So I'm going to do save as. And I'm going to do this one as uh, my version. Uh, let's give it a number as well so that we can increment it should we want to. Right, cool. Okay, so now we're not going to mess with the original file anymore. We're only playing with our own version. Okay, so if we expand our Lamborghini, we can see that there's all the different parts. And I tell you, this is good. You don't often see this. Um, but this guy has put a lot of effort into this. And all of these uh, bits are actually named which is really, really useful. So uh, that's great. Um, we're gonna do a little bit of uh, moving around in here just to f make the animating and the animating a little bit easier. Um, but let's uh, start by uh, sort of going through and seeing what we've got here. One of the things I do want to do fairly early on is just divide the car up into car and wheels because those I want to be able to move independently. So. If we look here, we can go right down to about there, and all of that is car. So I'm going to press Alt and G with those highlighted, and that's uh, that I'm going to rename the null to body. Okay, so now we've got what we've got here is that's front right wheel, so that's everything to do with the front right wheel. So we'll just grab all of those and group, and uh, we'll say uh, uh, front, uh, right, wheel. Should really do it by passenger and near side or whatever, but uh, the one of the things we've got to watch for here is the fact that our center point for this wheel, so this is the wheel we're dealing with, is right down there on the floor. Now that's not going to be a huge amount of use to us down there because when we come to animate, if we want to rotate that wheel, uh, it's going to turn like that and that wouldn't be right. So let's undo that a minute. Um, and fix this. So, quite easy to do. Let's go into the four views um, and we'll use this one here. We'll just zoom that one in a bit. Uh, I'm not sure. Ooh. Oh, it's tiny. Look, there we go. Now we can see that one a little bit better. Um, and we'll come from the top view over here. There it is. Right, okay, so let's um, move the position of this axis. So we're just going to change to this, which is the axis modification tool. And let's go up here and we'll go across here and get it around about in the center of the wheel. Now we want we want it actually in the center. We don't want it on the edge there because it. if you think about how an alloy works, it's probably slightly in. It's where the uh, the hub would connect to the wheel is where we want this axis point. So. It's very important that it is dead central, so what we can do is just move that down and just make sure that's right in the middle of that emblem, like so. Cool. Okay, so that's that one done. So this one now is front left, so we'll do the same thing again. Front left wheel. And we're still in the axis modification tool, so we'll just grab that and we'll move that up to about the right place there and there and once again we just move this one as long as you haven't moved the main car that they should that should be pretty much spot on there uh, and the back wheels um, can both be together that's fine because we don't need to turn those independently so group and we'll call them back wheels um, and we need to do a similar sort of thing um, in as much as we need to move that to the back and we also need to raise it up okay 
and then we can see in there we just hit S and that sort of centers us on that so we can just put that as close as damn it into the right place there we go and we also want that to be sat approximately in the middle it's not hugely important but that's fine okay there we go so that's a little bit of prep that we've done there it's not a, a huge amount because it was a really good job anyway we haven't got to rename things and work out what bits are what because you may have to find what bits are what and rename them so let's just save that and disable our access modification tool and we'll go back um, I tell you what actually let's just check where that yeah so our body that we need to do that as well look because you see the body is down the bottom here so I want the body to be on around about the same position as the wheels where it pivots from um, and what I'll do is I'll zoom in here and I want to line that up I don't know if you saw that just then but you can just see there it is there's the badge so I'm just going to line it up from that and like I said I just want it about level with the front wheels um, where they would be joined so about there should be fine um, and we can just put it roughly in the center there we go okay finally uh, I am going to grab all of those group those like that double click that one copy the name control C copy that into there control V drag that out and just delete that null the reason I did that was because it's put the access center point in the same place as the body um, and at the center of all the wheels so it's just a bit easier than lining up that last one right okay so we are now ready to start creating some textures um, and getting them on this this beastie so let's uh, literally just work our way through it so we'll start on the body um, and we have black plastic so this is all the bits of black plastic around the car so I'm just going to create a very simple texture for that double click down the bottom create new texture and go in here and choose a color so I want this to be pretty much black um, I'm going to turn off specular actually I'm going to leave specular on um, and just make it a little bit taller and turn it right down so down to about 18 it's only subtle then there we go so reflection I'm going to pull that right back to about 12 and add a Fresnel and pull that right back to about there these numbers I'm making them up that you do not have to copy them exactly uh, you go with what you think looks about right to me that looks like cool shiny black plastic jobs done okay so we put that right we've got a couple of ways we can just dump it straight on the uh, thing that works or because there was a texture on here because he had gone to the trouble of putting the texture on if you have v-ray and all of that but we're going to place that onto that texture there we go and that way it's got his configuration that he did which in this case is none but that's fine right so next is windows so we need something nice and clear now I'm going to start simple here um, because this is a very difficult thing to tell until you do the final sort of rendering so I'm just going to turn on transparency I'm going to turn off color because that improves render time turn off specular turn on reflection go to uh, transparency and just pull that back just a little bit something like that there we go that's fine that will work for the car window glass there we go um, that's fine right cool there is a file we can use for this as well if we look in our textures it comes with this windows um, PNG image which is like this now I think if I remember rightly um, I actually opened this up in Photoshop and literally uh, used the magic wand tool selected all the parts uh, and deleted them so that it was transparent with black like that I then saved that uh, as Windows 2 um, now the way I did this if I remember rightly was literally drag this into the project yes we can create a copy that's fine go into the the texture that we've made it's assigned it to the color um, but what I want to do is go into um, alpha turn on that and use bitmaps windows 2 that's the one I've just used and then that gives me that um, and perhaps maybe put a little bit of reflection on that 
just like so and I think I may yeah that just sits perfectly that's UV mapped perfectly so you just put that on there and then what you end up with is darkness uh, I'll tell you what it's because I'm doing it in his setup so I need to go to standard um, because I'm not sure what settings he's got if you're ever unsure just literally take a copy of the model go file new place it there uh, following textures are not in the current project folder uh, do you want to change them to absolute paths new nope. um, and then I'm going to save as and do this as my version replace it there we go so now we should have there we go we've got ordinary settings so we can kind of see what's going on a bit here now one of the problems that we've got straight away is our windows thing has got gone a bit funky around the edges um, if I remember correctly under alpha if we turn off soft and then put on invert that should fix that yeah, there we go. Right, so we've got Windows and we've got that. Now, obviously, in the final version, we want to tint this up a little bit, but like I said, I'm just going to keep it simple. So let's uh, name these a lot as we go along. So we'll call this Window Detail. And we'll call this Clear Glass. Uh, and we'll call this Black Plastic. Okay. Brilliant. Now let's continue on. Uh, so mirrors, that's an easy one. Double click, go into the thing, turn off color, turn off specular, press reflection. Job's done, there's a mirror. Mirror, mirror. Okay, and we assign that to the mirrors. Uh, black plastic, no MS. Um, now I don't know exactly what that means. No doubt you're possibly screaming at me now to tell me what it does mean, but I don't know. So if you're unsure of what a part is, here's a handy hint. Um, if you hide the whole car and then just uh, drag the item out of the system, you can then see exactly what that bit is. So this is the underside of the car. Okay, so this is fine. I maybe think that this wouldn't be shiny though. So I'm just gonna make a copy of my black plastic and I'm going to, yeah, turn off the reflection, that's fine. That little bit of specular on there is fine, it's kind of making it look dark. So we'll do that one and we'll put that back in the body and we'll turn the car back on. Cool, and we carry on. Uh, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do as well, I'm gonna hide the windows, that makes it a bit easier just to see in there. Um, emblem, right, so this is the logo on the front. He's got provided us a texture for that. So all we do is drag that in, create a one there. Sure, why not create a copy? And we can just dump that straight on there and bang, UV perfectly. Um, I will just do a bit of tweaking to this, but only very, very slight, little, little bit of Fresnel and reflection on there, never 13 though. Um, and turn off the specular. There we go, that's a nice looking emblem. Cool. Okay, glass red. So this is our rear lights. So fine, okay, so let's make a copy of our clear glass and we'll go into there. Um, go to the transparency and we'll change the color of that to a kind of red um, and we'll make it slightly more transparent and a lot less reflective like so um, and then just to give this a good little look we'll go into bump channel we'll do um, a noise and uh, let's put that right down it only wants to be something like maybe three um, and go into there, choose something like uh, Luca, global scale down to about 10 perhaps, and maybe just make it so it's not quite so harsh, something like that. And then put that onto our glass. And just have a quick look. Obviously texturing, you can never do 100% when, when the scene isn't lit, um, but in this case, yeah, it's, it's all right. Okay, so Chrome, um, it's not dissimilar to the mirror, so I'm just going to create a new texture. And the way I do Chrome um, is I turn on reflection, but just pull it back just slightly like that, because it wouldn't be 100%. Um, maybe put a Fresnel on it, but oh, again, only slightly. And uh, in the uh, presets for Specular, just stick that on metal. Maybe just drop that back just a little bit. There we go. 
So it's a little bit different from uh, Mirror. Not a lot, but uh, just gives us a little bit of difference. Uh, red glass, there we go. Okay, and that's um, logo. Okay, so Chrome, uh, we'll put that on there. That gives us all our cool looking Chrome bits. So that's looking nifty. Glass for the engine. Um, not sure for this, let's just put glass on there. There we go. Now the engine itself, it's gonna be a kind of dark gray, um, I would guess. Um, don't wanna leave it obviously like that. But uh, just for now, let's just put the Chrome on there. Because uh, imagine it's very, very shiny and polished up. And yeah, there we go, fine. Right, car paint. This one's really important. This is the actual color of the car itself. Now, oh, I struggle because most Lamborghinis are yellow and whatnot, but I went with a kind of orange for my one because it just looks pretty cool. So I'm going to aim for a kind of burnt orange. So color. Uh, let's pull the green back to about halfway and the blue right down. Uh, and that gives us a pretty cool looking burnt orange about there something like that there we go um, and obviously specular I'm just gonna turn that right down I'm not really too interested in that but this is a important one reflection for now and just pull that back a bit and take that down you want a nice because this has been polished it's been polished to within it within an inch of its life so it's lovely um, <laughs> I'm rabbiting now, stop talking. Uh, blurriness, uh, I'm just going to add 1%. That's all I'm going to add to that. 1% of blurriness. And put that on the car paint. And there we go, you've got yourself a very orange looking car. Which isn't lit yet, so it looks a bit ropey. But anyway. So, headlights, glass. Um, again, I'm going to make a tinted version that's slightly more tinted than it's going to be. So I'm just going to go into here, transparency, and put that colour down to about... No... Oh, oops, that's green. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, it's my reflection. I need to pull no color. Right, what have I done here? Someone's going to have to help me. Right, because I don't know what I've done, I'm just going to delete that one and make a new one. Because normally, I'm pretty sure you go to transparency and you just choose a darker color. Huh. What have I done? What am I doing wrong here? Am I being stupid? 100%? Hmm. Okay. Hmm, maybe that's a bit closer. Don't follow this one exactly. Just maybe play with it until you find what you think is about right. Maybe that is... Uh, just try changing the shape um, to a cube. No, what was that? Well, what's the shape I like? Rounded cube, GI. Yeah. Soft shadow. No, yeah. Take the transparency down a little bit. There we go. Right. Yeah, I don't choose this one because you get this line through, so it kind of gives you a better idea. Right, that's fine. Okay, let's call that uh, tinted glass. So this is going to be for our headlights. Bang. Uh, cool. Yep, yeah, no, that's fine. Okay, blinkers. Blinkers. These are these little dudes on the side. I have, I have no idea. Um, what do we reckon? Let's. Um, they're probably going to be a clear, clear glass, aren't they? So let's just make a copy of our red glass, but we'll change the uh, color to white so it keeps the bump detail in there um, and do some of uh, now this isn't looking right cancel that one as well I seem to be struggling with my transparent textures today um, what do I want I want a frosty whiteness really don't I um, let's create another new one Okay, so bump, noisy, uh, let's go with Luca uh, and put that up a bit and global scale, something like 20. 
reflection, a bit of that, transparency, a bit less. Yeah, there we go. I don't know. Uh, that'll do for now. If it's uh, a blinker, if it's no good, then we'll change it later. But uh, that should be all right. Blinker. There we go. Okay, car paint, car paint black. Well, that's self-explanatory. We've got a black plastic. Let's just use that. To douche, that's that from it. Okay, glass back, glass black. This is black glass, right? Okay, so we'll use our tinted glass for that. Glass orange. Um, ah, so that's look, that's the bulb inside of the blinker there. Look. Um, so let's make that um, luminance. Uh, pull back that green and do that. Uh, something like this. Uh, color. Turn that down. Uh, pull back that luminance a little bit, put that colour, do, 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 something like that. There we go. That's fine. That's going to be our orange glass. I know it's not clear, but it doesn't really need to be. Look how tiny that is. Right, okay, cool. Um, chrome. We've got chrome. We can put that straight on there. Interior silver. So this is like... Uh, depending so I'm just gonna go for um, not dissimilar to this one so um, we just turn on reflection pull that right down for now you can you're getting the idea here I'm pretty sure by now um, we're we'll just going to the blues and just uh, go something like that and that's maybe not quite so much just a little bit less just to try and get a, a bit of silver there um, I don't want it too reflective and the specular will turn that right down. All right. Interior silver. There we go. Bum bum. That looks pretty cool. Uh, gauges. So I'm going to use the same one for those. Screen. Um, what happens if we put black plastic on that? Yep. No, that's fine. Uh, chrome squares. Now this is something else that I think we press S it takes us to them is that them in there I think that's these yeah it's those there look so uh, again squares I didn't actually use these the first time I but I found them afterwards so let me just uh, I'll try this real time uh, sure why not um, and just put that on there Mm. Yeah, it seems to do the trick. I think they'll be alright like that. Fine. Uh, interior dark. So, interior dark. This is the... All the leather and everything. Right. Okay, so we need to create a leather. <clears throat> okay, so the uh, leather... Let's create a new texture. Um, right, let's see. So, for colour, let's stick a layer on there um, we're going to use a couple of bits here an effect a shader that's the one um, and something like uh, noise um, and I want something maybe like that uh, global scale let's put that right down even yeah about five percent cool okay um, and then go back to color in our layer I want to add another not an image not the right button uh, uh, a shader for now something like that put that to the bottom um, let's just soften this up a little bit something like that so we're creating a interesting looking one there uh, set that to multiply so that merges together right okay it's not looking quite right yet obviously but um, we can now add a diffusion uh, we want to put on there uh, do, 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 a noise and that's right um, and then go into the noise um, Let's go for Luca. Yep. Let's go for that and let's put this right up. Okay, so that's much, much bigger. 
Cool. Okay. Um, let's just swap these around a moment. Let's see if that. Yeah. Okay. So that's pretty cool. Um, next, um, just check this uh, effect luminance. I want this to affect luminance, so we'll turn that on. Okay, uh, and let's just tone that down a little bit. There we go. Just a little subtle thing. Um, luminance, luminance. Yep, we'll add that, but we are only adding like a little bit of that just to kind of go through um, da, 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 effects lumas. Okay. Um, something like that let's go in here a minute so specular one let's tone this right down um, make it maybe a bit bigger not so much glare yeah that's alright um, let's turn that on Plan on something like that. Maybe shrink that back. Put that one up. Um, put you down. Kind of just. Uh, I'm trying to remember kind of the way I did it before. Um, Uh, yeah, no, that should do that one. Right, uh, we'll add a bump. Um, again, we want to do a noise. Go into that one, something like Naki, Naki, Naki. Yep. Um, make that uh, a bit less, uh, maybe 300, something like that. Um, yeah. Mm. Check specular. What have I done in here? Um, let's add a noise here. Shrink that down. Something like that. I only want, I only really want the specular to be subtle. Um, just change the colour of it. So make it a little bit warmer. Mm, there's something I'm kind of missing here though that I did last time that I've totally forgotten. Um, another color and just set that to a kind of dark yeah something like that and then in our layers and then multiply that or is it screen it no multiply uh, let's just try a few of these uh, yep yeah, no that's fine I think maybe there's too much lumas there we go we'll just pull those back a little bit there we go Okay, well that's um, just a ton of random stuff in there just to make a kind of leatheriness. Um, so we'll call that leather. Do, 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 in, that's interior dark. Boom. Yeah, boy. That's looking pretty good. Okay, interior black. So let's use our black shiny. See, we've got most of what we need now. Interior dark. So we'll use our black non diny and silver, uh, we need a grey that isn't shiny, so we'll do a duplicate of the interior one and again we'll just switch off the reflective uh, interior no shine, something like that. Right, okay, um, and put that on there. Uh, lens, 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 I don't know what lens is. Uh, oh, it's headlights. Oh, obviously. Um, for this we need to make um, a nice luminance one um, 
maybe with a little bit of reflection on it not a lot because this is a headlight so you can't really see it anyway so that's fine and we'll dump that in there like that. that's cool silver um, I think that that should be chrome I'm gonna make that chrome glass and that's just that little bit there so let's uh, let's make that like the blinker number plate where is the number plate oh yeah look it's there okay so you're going to want to put a number plate on there most likely but we'll just create a quick yellow um, reflective frenair ba bam specula uh, right and that's our number plate there okay so we are getting there we've almost got a car ready to rock and roll with okay so um let's just have a quick look hmm. perfect perfect um let's shrink the body down so we now need to do the wheels so let's start with the front left wheel because we can see that and see what we need to do um now the this is the center in the middle there so I'm going to make that uh, chrome so it's shiny then the logo we've done that one so we just put the logo on there uh, caliper so that needs to be that needs to match the car so we'll make that orange and then you've got this lovely caliper detail so we'll make that black uh, da, 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 da. the disc brake itself um, there is a disc brake image there so we could dump this into the the scene. Um, how could we do this? Let's. I'm not really sure. Um, I'm just going to make it. Oops! I didn't mean to do that. Just going to make it really reflective um, and set the bump channel to be that same image um, and pull that down a little bit. Um, Let's just turn on the good old fashioned Fresnel and pull that back a little bit. There we go. Um, and we'll just drop our specular. Okay. And if we put that onto our calipers, yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's looking pretty nifty. Um, so brake center. So this is what behind the brake, is it? No, nope, that's the disc. Brake center. Ah, so that's the hub in there. Um, so maybe go with um, uh, let's go with our chrome for that uh, no actually do you know what no, I'm going to go with my black there we go and the rim itself I want them to be black so same shiny blackness and the tyre now again we have a tyre sidewall there so what I'll do is I'll just bump that in there and I'm just going to modify this a little bit. So we have um, a slightly bigger specular, uh, wider. Um, and just let's leave it at that for the moment and see how that's looking. Yeah, I think that might be a bit too bright. So it's close but I don't like how bright that is so I'm just gonna hop into here okay. so let's turn on the bump map and set the tire sidewall to that and also drop that back a little bit um, and in here tire sidewall so we can make this a layer uh, go in there and do effect uh, brightness uh, this might not be what I wanted to do actually thinking about it no, I didn't want the brightness. Okay, remove that. Um, how did I do this before? Uh, image. No, not image. Uh, shader. Color. Black. Uh, go back one. Uh, multiply. No. Screen. Overlay. Right, that wasn't how I did it either. Okay, what did I do? Um, let's try uh, for now underneath. 
Multiply. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Was this what it was? I think this might have been it. Let's just uh, make a, a loose for now like that. And that then. Yeah, there we go. Then our, t then our uh, we've got writing on our tires, but it's not too over the top now. So that's fine. Cool. Okay. Um, and let's just check that specular is probably a bit high, really. There we go. Right. Cool. Fine. So that's that wheel done. So we need to do the same thing to the other wheels. So um, let's quickly whip through these. Okay, brake disc. I did the brake disc one for caliper. Did the orange caliper data. I did the black brake center. I did black rim center. I did that as chrome logo. The rim itself I did as the black the tire. I did it as the tire. Okay, and back wheels, right, um, let's just quickly whip through these, right, okay, rim center, uh, what did I do, uh, yep, I did uh, that one, rim logo, uh, caliper, details, Disc brake center black um, rim itself and tire right, rim logo rim rim I'm saying rim too much here actually thinking about it I don't think I should be saying rim as much as I am details. Oh, we can say details. That's fine. Brake center, rim center, and tire. Right. Cool. There we go. And that's the whole thing textured. And it looks like because of the length of time that took us, this is going to end up being a two-part tutorial. <laughs> okay. Um, so, now, this is the uh, interesting bit, because obviously if we hit render on that, it doesn't look too bad at all. I mean, this is a really good model. Um, uh, and at this point, I want to light it. So as I always say, uh, you can light it yourself. You can set up your own lights and do whatever. But just to save time, I'm going to use my Infidio Pro. So we just dump that into the scene. Uh, it's obviously sitting a little bit high. Um, I'm not sure about the scaling, so I'm just going to zoom out. So as the scale in the car is pretty small, so I'm just going to grab the car and make it a bit bigger because I want these reflections to be nice and this will save me having to resize them. So in Video Pro, we just need to shrink down a little bit. Let's just uh, think if our camera is going to be sat in the middle here. This is where it's going to want to be. Okay. Um, oops. Let's just move it down. I'm going to try to eyeball it. I'm just going to turn on Gurad with lines and then you can kind of see where the floor is. There we go. Right. Cool. Okay. So let's get um, our camera into an approximately right place. So it's about there. And then I'm just going to grab the car, turn it a bit. Okay. And position it there. Um, now, this is something that I always do. Um, just turn off these lines here uh, is that I always lower cars because I think it looks better so what I will do is just literally drop the wheels out of the system and lower the car cool and then I'm gonna put the wheels back in the system there we go that might be sacrilege but I just think it looks so much better um, and now I can grab the front wheel there press R and if I turn that you see I can turn the wheel properly now um, you can set up an espresso so that wheels follow but if you just hold down shift you can turn them a degree so if I put it to 30 degrees and I grab the left wheel and I also turn that 30 degrees they both turn the same amount uh, it does still seem to be slightly there we go so we'll just move that okay 
Um, and literally, let's just hit render and see how that's looking. So off the bat, that's looking pretty good. Um, we can do some things where we move the lighting to get the reflection sitting a little bit better. Uh, the, f the window I don't like because it doesn't kind of look like there's any glass in there. Um, so I want to put a bit of a tint in there. Uh, the, there is an issue with the way Yeah, that, that's this is obviously really really slow. So this is why I normally change to the physical renderer about now. So let's go ahead and do that. Just want to see what it's what it is looking like. I mean, generally that's looking pretty cool. Okay, so let's go and turn on ambient occlusion because I like that. You don't have to, but I like it. And I'm also going to put the physical renderer on and turn it to progressive. And while we're here, we'll just turn on depth of field because we're going to use that in a minute. Um, I think Infidio still needs to be dropped like a pixel. There we go, right. Um, and we create a camera in our current position. Uh, let's make it say a 50 mil. Make sure that we're in the camera. And just zoom that out a, a little bit. Maybe drop it and turn it just a touch. And the way I like to do this is the focus object. Um, I just, not NVIDIA, uh, front right wheel. Um, I just dump the front right, right wheel in there um, and maybe put this down to about 1.2 as if we've got a nice expensive lens. And let's just hit go on that. So that's already looking much better. I'm still not liking the headlight, but uh, that's looking pretty damn nifty. Uh, not headlight, the, the glass. Let's see, let's fix this glass. So clear glass here. Um, I want to put a tint on that, so I'm going to just add a bit of gray to it. Although that's gone that, all that reflective weirdness again. So let's just open that up. Uh, reflection, we can put that down a bit. Something like that. Right, let's just have a quick look. Right, no, something's not quite right here. Uh, I think it might be the way our texture is actually um, done. Uh, da, 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 da. So we had this and this. So let me just turn these round and see if that makes a difference. Because I think what's happening is that it's not using this. Let's just take the window detail off a second and just see what the difference is. None. Okay, so let's take the glass off a second and see what the difference is. Right, I must be missing, oh my goodness me, Rory. Ha! Do you remember you? We I switched this off earlier? You've probably just been shouting that at me this whole time. Well, yeah, of course, because you switched it off. Look, suddenly, suddenly, there it is. Oh, and look how much better it suddenly looks. And I didn't need to tint it quite as much. So let's go back into our glass. Uh, put the reflective brightness up again and just put this back up just a touch. Uh, maybe slightly less. And let's just have a really quick look. What a plum. No, see, no, 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 no. See, something's still wrong. That's now grey. And I think it's because, again, it's using that. If I delete that a moment. No, that's still grey. Oh, what am I doing wrong here? I'm not having a good day with glassy textures. Right, undo. Let's get that frame thing back there. Let's check this. So that's fine. And we've got our alpha on there. And it's a bit reflective. Uh, that's fine. Yep, okay. Our glass... Let's just put that to black a minute. Let's just uh, hit render. I just want to see what this actually looks like. Right, so that's just pure black. So that's no use to anyone. So we turn the reflective down. Transparency, texture. What happens if we put a gradient on there? Ah, maybe this was what I did. Okay, I think this might have been what I did. Um, I made a shape like this. Uh, maybe not so much 
with a bit of greys on the side um, and maybe this is a, a lighter grey something like that this is looking more like it yes there we go it's a little bit um, it's a little bit dark but I think now we can just uh, is it multiply no no it definitely isn't that Um, da -da 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 -da. I think the brighter we make it, the clearer, yeah, the clearer it becomes. So we just tweak these up a little bit. There we go. Right, we've now got some tinted windows going on. Cool. Fine. So, uh, on the texture, I just made a gradient. Wonderful. Right. Um, and just quickly obviously there's no lighting at the back so this won't look quite right but uh, just out of curiosity how's the back end looking obviously very dark like I say there's no lighting if we just really quickly go into Infidio um, let's turn on the floor reflection because that's always going to look good ramp that up quite a bit maybe put on a blur uh, go to the lighting and rotate all lighting we can just spin that right around here quickly and bang, we've lit the back of it now. Yeah, and the back's looking good. Yeah, the rear clusters are actually looking pretty good indeed. Cool. Okay. So, uh, let's put the lighting back to where it was. And our camera, we can press Control, Shift and Z and undo the movements to that and put that back. There we go. Right, now that is probably about it for this half of the tutorial I think um, yeah I'll do it as a separate tutorial where we actually animate the car and have it speeding into the scene because um, now that we've got it there it's all ready yeah it shouldn't take too long but I'll do it as a separate tutorial because this one is getting on a little bit anyway and I wanted to try and get it a bit shorter so yes there we go I'll leave that rendering for the minute um, while I sum up yeah so that's the end of the first part uh, we have our car rendering um, and we can now take that car animate it do some bits and pieces with it um, we're not going to do anything silly complicated we're not going to set up suspension proper suspension or anything like that we're not going to do that we're just literally just going to make it give us a nice simple animation quickly I say I did that the mini one I did that on a train so um, on a laptop on my lap going like this anyway, uh, right end this now let's stop talking right, I'll see you in the next half